welcome to today's vlog. I'm on the road. I am, I'm on the road again. Oh man. So I'm staying in the apartment, the hellhole of the box, of the prison that I stayed in last night. Due to budget <laughs> and also walking around old Chinatown, I couldn't find anything much better other than some dormitories, which I will make a vlog about because you guys that are traveling, you may want to uh, rack up in a dormitory and they're really cool and they're cheap as chips, but they're not really for me. So I've rented a moped off a guy <laughs> from China, around the Chinatown this morning, 70 ringgit for two days, which is okay, about 14 pounds. It's okay, so I've got my hat on, so I thought, right, let's get out of that hell hole and I'm just going to ride around and see what I can find. And the first thing I found by the Penang Terminal B bus station, just pulled into this road because it looked like it, 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 it's like an old town. I've seen this old Chinese temple thing here, oh man, which is awesome. It's a bit freaky. It is awesome. It really is. It really is. So I just pulled into here. There's a couple of guys over there. But I just asked if it's all right to park the bike which is just over here and he said yeah it's fine so I just like so I pulled in off the street I haven't done any research about Penang at all other than the artwork in Georgetown you know I just want to come find find things and just off the cuff and then I found something straight away by just pulling in there so I parked the horse there the new horse this thing I've got an air blade which is pretty riggedy and that but look at that thing there man my old Honda Cub wicked just parked there and it looks like it's in use kind of I blocked him in right, that would be awesome it would cost too much to ship home but I'd love to buy something like that I really would but I come up uh, these guys here <laughs> you can hear them I'm in I'm in old that well here's where I am I don't know what it is but look it's like proper proper old town of China these guys working away Sugar cane. It's sugar cane you make? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have a good... I'm going to walk around? Okay. And when I come back, I'm going to try your sugar cane. Okay? How oh, cool. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm on what looks like to be the back. <laughs> the back street of a Chinese fishing village, I guess. Old school. Now, I, I have been, did watch a vlog about a year ago. There's a guy on YouTube. He, he makes me laugh. I think he's funny. He, 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 is a, he doesn't mean to be funny. It's just the way that he moans about everything. So we Scotsman named Del Phillip. He loves his elephant pants and he walks about. Morning, God, that ain't right, that ain't right, that shouldn't be there, look at that, that's crap. And then he's like, oh, that's good, isn't it? I like that. Um, anyway, so he came here <laughs> and he made a vlog, it's online, um, of like uh, the tourist traps, a vlog that he entitles that he's made so you guys don't have to. Well, it's brilliant because he's made that vlog, so I don't have to. <laughs> so if you want to watch all the silly tourist trap stuff, then, then, then watch his vlog. It's funny. Well, I don't think he means to be funny. I just find find it funny. Oh man, the wind is picking up now. Oh man, as we are out to sea. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at this fishing. Oh man, look at this guy's place. All these old fishing fish nets, lobster traps, I think they are. Crayfish, prawns, everything like that. It's probably out fishing right now. Oh, man. Oh, it's weird. And I'm right away from the touristy bit that other YouTubers would just jump on. And as you look at that, I don't know if you can see, that's the bridge that, we, yeah, that you cross to come in. Incredible bridge. Didn't realise it went that high at one point. Oh, man. And then you see it's really windy. Oh man, there's this more. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't like walking, it's like walking a plank, man. 
jeez, and it is the sea, it's like, whoa, whoa, it's like that, and I can feel this moving. Man, so I'm, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. But it's just wicked to just walk up this old little fishing village, away from the tourist trap as such. And I am staying, I've seen a little sign for it, it says Little India, Mumbai, Bombay is what I'm called. Mate, which, you know, it's all right. You know, I've had me moan about it, which is good. I mean, it's somewhere I can go and sleep. It's cheap. I've got me earplugs and that. Um, and like I say, people, I'm up really early. And people this morning, well, I know went back to the hotel. It's about nine. And they're all just getting up. And the same thing, when I, uh, lots of the, lots of the little hotels or guest houses around Chinatown part, uh, the, the, the cleaner, nicer smelling part, uh, they were all closed, you know, they don't open till late, so... And, and the ones that were open, the, they don't... Um, they all have the plastic key for the electric, so when you leave, the electric goes off, and... Like I say, where, where everything is a little bit bad, you'll find something good. Well, for me, having... What's down here? Having the electric on in the apartment when I'm not there enables my computer to do all my work. Uh, that's crucial, it really is. It means I haven't got to stay in the room and do it. Because I don't do that. <laughs> stay in the room all day. That's why I don't edit anything. Oh man, it's a dead end. I don't. Just load it up on the computer, go out for a couple of hours, as I did this morning, and then when I come back, hey presto, it's all done, I'll turn the computer off. And that's it, batteries chart, everything. It's really good having the electric on when you're not there. It's crucial. So that's that guy's house right here. Oh, man. It is cool. It is like going back in time. Which is what I like. The real, the real feeling of what Penang is. So that's just this little spot. So I'm going to ride the scoot about. All about and see what I can find before I go and do any sort of uh, designated vlogs as such. I want to go to the water park the national park area um, that, that's somewhere I want to go get a little bit out of town a little bit more but I'll do that tomorrow or even this afternoon I don't know next place I want to go and see if I can find the beach but I've never tried sugar cane so I'm gonna see if this guy I don't know if he's up and running uh. do you have not that really not yet I'll come back Okay. Now it's the, uh, stand by for washing. Yeah, you make washing and prepare. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll come back, my friend. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> People are, like I say, in Malaysia. They are, man. Well, I just, I guess it's because I'm, I'm, I'm nice and kind and friendly. <laughs> it rubs off on everybody else. Wicked area. Really like this little spot just there. And I will, I'll come back. Uh, that'll be my happy ending. Yes, I've got, I've got where I need to come for a happy ending, so that's good. Right, let's see what else we can find. You guys know I like my vintage, right? And I bet a lot of you like your vintage too. Volkswagen Beetles, man. How cool. <laughs> I'll have a good look round here. I don't think anyone's in the yard, man. Oh, man. It's not abandoned. Wicked. What is that, 13? No, I don't know what that is. But look, what, what I also like, due to the British colonisation, I guess, of... Malaysia, they've all got old vintage plates, black with silver or white writing, look, raised. That's been a new one. But all old plates, man, black and white, as they should be, or black and silver. They're wicked. Wicked. But they are just, just really cool to see, look. Just on the side of the street. 1961. That's had a bang. But these are all. <laughs> They were all worth a pretty penny, even in this condition. Oh man. <laughs> wicked, 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 
But look in here, man. Oh, wow, look. All the old wings hanging up. That one there. That, look, the old engine in the back. You can see that someone's trying to work on that. This is, this is, this is the stuff I love. Love to see, I love to find. It's all locked up, so the guy's obviously away. That one with the perspex, it's got a perspex bit on the back as you can see the engine look. That's gonna be really cool when that's done. Really cool. Wicked stuff. Oh. <laughs> Happy. And I've only moved up about a kilometer from back where I was. Side street. I bet he's. Oh man. Oh man, look. Is that a German hat? No. <laughs> All this crap. Oh man. It's just in a bin. All this stuff. Oh man. <laughs> All just thrown away. Oh man, I don't throw nothing away. Oh, the salvage here. Oh man. I know, it's, I've, I've, this is like. It's proper, proper old crap. And there's loads of it, there's loads more on this side. I don't know if those people just dumped that rubbish. Oh man, fuck, I don't know. Oh mate, look, there's over a load of stuff here. Oh man, the old got okay. Oh man, water damaged stuff. Oh man, bins. I just love seeing it. When I was a kid, you probably think, how the fuck? I never burgled anywhere. I don't know if that's the impression I give. I never did. I was never a burglar. No, I just we we we, used to, we didn't do that, man. We searched dumps back in the day when we were kids. Man, that old torch, man. It's just all this old crap. There's no money in this stuff, but the old flask. Now that that's worth a few quid, even like that, the old flask. And I bet you'd get a little bit of money for this. These things, they're all just laying about. Now it's all old rubbish. See, as a kid. Because we were poor, well, well, look at Carlsberg glass, all this stuff. When I was a kid, we were so, I was so, I was proper poor, mate. I was actually proper poor, family was. Mum used to really scrimp and save. Bless her heart, mate. So actually, oh, mate, I ain't gonna go on about my childhood, innit? Because it'll make me sad, it will. It'll well me up, but, um, so we used to go scavenging on old dumps and stuff like that. And that's what this is, to me, it's like, it is just like me back in my childhood scavenging on dumps. Yes. I mean, look, there's an old Burberry or Aqua Scooter bag there. That's either Burberry or Aqua Scooter. <laughs> Whatever came first. Oh, man. Wicked. Wicked. Where am I wandering to? I don't know. <laughs> it's cages. Ah, oh, mate, it's probably. I don't know. I don't like seeing cage stuff, not at all. I don't. And you can walk even further down there. I can't be quick. <laughs> so it's sort of an out and about, but I'll probably get waylaid. Because this obviously goes again, that's another part of the fishing village, which this is all along here, all the old stilted up. Houses and villages. Oh man, I don't know what that says. I think that says do not enter if you're a tourist or a YouTuber. Hello. Can. You you live here? Yeah, yeah, can, can. Can I can walk? Go, can Are you go. okay? Can, can, oh cool, can. thanks my friend. Oh man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All this old shuttered type buildings. Good morning. And it is, it's all old classic looking stuff. Lady there doing her, oh man, peeling her lunch. Oh man, more, more rubbish. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. Ah, it's nice and kind when, when I say good morning rather than get off me land. Oh man, it is. Even though I'm walking through someone's backyard as such. 
man, the sun is getting hot. It's getting hot there. Wow. The sea in this little bit here is a little bit calmer. <laughs> As there's a plank to walk, and there's a Chinese temple over there. So that's as far as I'm going. But if you look over there, you can see that must be a major shipping harbour. Oh, and like what I've said before, this is a part of a major shipping. It goes out to the Malacca Straits. This is a different, I forgot what this is, the Gulf or something. Yeah, I did, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. you have a very good day. Cool. Ah oh, man, nice and kind these people, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Come here. There's more. <laughs> there is. That is an old Anglian. A Ford Anglian. Now my old man used to have one of them. He didn't usually drive. He had a stash at the back of the old cinema. Well, look at them. Whoa! Wow, and that is, I'm sure that's an Ang Anglian, mate, an old Ford Anglian, and, mate, it's got the original number plate on it, look. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's pretty battered. Wow, we're going in. Wow, <laughs> That's what you call a bit of vintage. And is it, what does that say? Ah, oh, I don't know what that says. Something of England. So I don't know if it's Ford, but there's the badge. The new experts, because I'm not an expert. I just remember my old man having one of these in the backyard. He had some strange stuff, my old man. Anyway, there's something else. So you can guess what it is. I was then going to sing, but I'm not. <laughs> I lost my bottle. I then got to sing an introductory song about a mini. <laughs> I'm sure I saw a mini. Where's it gone? A mini. There you go. Look. There's an Austin mini right there. New plate on it. Wicked. Look at his little 13 inch rims, man. I'm sure that's what they are. It's good. It's good. Can I open the door? Can I open? It was locked. Oh, it's locked. It's okay. It's got a Momo. It has been done up a little bit. Oh, it's okay. It's not yours. No, right. That was lovely, mate. That is really nice. Very nice. Yes. What? I would buy, but the import tax would kill me. Yeah, the import tax would would destroy me. But what did I see? I now saw a Vespa, right? Ah, oh, man, it's okay to film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is? Okay. Hang on. Yeah. I, uh, you, you can take anywhere. Film anywhere. Oh, top man. Top man. Wait, there, look, a Vespa. <laughs> a new one. Look at that. Look at that, a Primavera G Vera. Primavera. Now, if that was an original Primavera, that would be awesome but how cool that that's been mate that's that is shop made that old vespa just like that with all the latest bits and bobs on it <laughs> look at this that that's all been um that's got a little bit of fire damage but in the background oh man there's another couple whoa this old crunchy and then more important look at this it's all covered up ah oh, in the back there Oh man, that looks like a pooch maxi. No way. Oh no, it could be. Oh mate, that is an awesome looking thing in there. Awesome. And all these, I don't know if they're safes. <laughs> or fridges. Superb. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh man, so cool to see this stuff. It really is. Where are you from? Uh, England. Yeah? Yes. England. Thank you very much, my friend. I feel very welcome. People here, are very friendly. We're very pleased to meet you. And yourselves. Guys, have a wonderful day. Yes, thank you very much. Cool. 
<laughs> oh man. And the people are friendly. Really friendly and inviting and welcoming. Uh, everything you want to be as an intrepid traveller. Wicked. And even the Chinese, which is superb. Right, I've got to find my way back to the bike. I hope it's still there. Wicked. So, let's go find something else. Well, I've, I found this restaurant, this sort of nightclub, this bar area, but it's like no guns, no knives, no marijuana, no needles, no wang. Wang is money. Oh man, wang. Wang is money. Okay, no money, no porn, no alcohol, no cigarettes, and no photographing or cameras or cell phones. I mean, whatever sort of bar, restaurant, nightclub is that? <laughs> Welcome to the Penang prison. <laughs> nah, I'm not going in. I'm not. But I did speak to the ladies in there and I asked if I could just film outside and they said, yeah. Uh, they, thought I, they thought I was amusing. But yeah, look. That there. That's the Penang prison. Fancy that, no marijuana or drugs. Wang! Wang! I've got, I got plenty of wang in this pocket. I've got some wang. Ah oh man, a new world. I'm happy. I'm happy. You can get room for rent from just there. Oh, oh, it's probably like the prison that I'm in anyway. Uh, <laughs> so. So. Uh, that was it. I've been, I've been having a hard time finding anything of any interest off the tourist trap. Just been riding around, milling about, seeing what I can find. And I found a prison. But I also did see a few little bars along here, and it is. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hungry. Ah, this I saw as well, which freaked me out, man. That is a Kawasaki. Is that 1100? That I'm looking at. Sure, that's a, that's a, a proper-looking bike. What is it? It's got carbon bits all over it. Oh, it's a T50. Man, it's a T50cc. But right at the back, it's got an L plate. Fucking <laughs> hell, a learner on something like that, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But the day's getting warm. It's getting really warm. Oh, man. And I need something to eat. Now this was a one-way street. The bike's parked down there. I couldn't find a way to go round because uh, this is the street I want to get to because it looks like uh, some kind of food. I don't, I don't know if they're street food vendors or what but it's definitely, well I wish it was bare o'clock. I, uh, I found a Bangkok uh, something or other. Now the, the drivers here, they, they ain't got a lot of patience, they're all in a hurry, as I've noticed. They're not quite as classy as the drivers in KL. It's a little bit more like Thailand with the driving. <laughs> they're everywhere, the bikes are everywhere. It's, it's different here to, to KL. KL is in a world of its own. It is, very much is. Okay. So, oh man, they've got fish, it's a buffet. Oh, this is where I'm looking over here for some grub. Um, but I fancy something different. I've been having curry two or three times a day from all these uh, type stores where you team up, sorry, queue up and help yourself to a buffet. But yeah, I saw a Bangkok, Bang, Bangkok garden. I thought, wow, I'm going in there for lunch, but it don't open till the evening. So I thought they might have a Leo. I could do with some of that, my friend. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, it looks refreshing. Lemon. Can I have one? Me one. Yes. Two. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I've got some juice. A little bit of syrup going in there. Just knocking me up. An ice cold. What? It's coconut. 
Oh, cool, man. Rough coconut. Even better. I don't go anywhere. Oh, I'll have to be on pause. That's what I need. Coconut as well. Oh, man. That is ice. Ice chilled proper coconut water. Thank you. It's very good. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Oh, man. And I do love coconut water. That was just too ringer, which is pretty good. About 30p. Oh, and it's ice cold, which is good. A little bit sweet. Oh, There's plenty of food here on the right and on the left. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to go back to the sugar cane guy now because I'm lost and I've got my sweet beverage which mm. oh man that is so cold and icy I can feel it I'm not going to get brain freeze I really am Cool little mopeds. Oh man. Because that's sweet, that's put me off eating anything at the moment. So I'll probably eat something later. So guys, that is my little unexpected vlog around Penang for now. I just want to keep, I don't want to run these vlogs on for too long. I want to keep them as, as well. Keep them for the length that they are. So, until next time. Oh, wow.